Hey everybody, welcome back to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're gonna like it here. So today is another uh, tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do the V-stitch. And I'm going to show you the V-stitch using the treble. Why the treble? Because it's prettier and easier to show you the details on the camera. So grab your hook, grab your yarn, and let's get going. Okay, so before we start the next stitch in the series, I wanna go over the ones we've already learned. So this was video number one. This was the single crochet. This was video number two. This was the double crochet. Number three was the half double. And number four, I actually showed you how to put these three stitches together and make a beautiful pattern. You can see the, how the pattern develops. Oh, you can see it better on this side. Okay. So those were the first ones. And then here's the treble stitch. So I will show you now how to take the treble stitch and create another pretty stitch with it. It's called the V stitch. Now this is the treble V. Okay, I'm doing it with the treble stitch instead of the double, it's a little more pronounced and it's a bit easier to follow. So, okay, so we're going to start with the slip knot on our hook. Again, have the tail pointing down towards the handle. It's just easier and it keeps it out of the way. Now for this V stitch, we're going to need to do a chain that is multiples of three plus one. So you're going to do three, 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 three until your chain gets as long as you want it. And then you're just going to add one. So I'm going to go ahead and do a chain of 22. So that is multiples of three and then one extra. Okay. So go ahead and do a chain of 22. Five, six. Okay. Once you get to 22, come on back and we'll take it from there. Okay, so I have a chain of 22. So that's seven multiples of three plus one. And again, if you're going to be doing a project or a blanket or something, obviously you're gonna do it longer, but for the, for the per teaching purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this. So what we're going to do now, okay? Remember, I always like to do a base row of a single crochet. So go ahead all the way back, starting with the second stitch from the hook and just do a row of single crochet. Why do I do it? In case you missed the other ones, I do it because it gives you a sturdier base to work with. And when you're, especially when you're doing something like a treble or something where you pull twice into one stitch, it just helps you have a sturdier base to keep your tension um, consistent. So go ahead, go all the way back across with a row of single crochet. And once you get back here, you should have 21 stitches and I will meet you back there at the end. Okay, so here we are, last stitch, number 21. Okay, so there's the base row. Much easier to work with. You're going to chain two and turn your work. Okay. So here we have the base row and we're going to start our V stitch. Okay. So to start the V stitch, remember a treble stitch is you yarn over twice and then we're going to actually go right into the second stitch. Okay. Not the first one. Here's the original chain. Here's the first stitch. And now the second stitch, we're going to yarn and over, go in, pull up a loop, go through two pull up a loop, go through two, pull up a loop and go through two. Now this actually looks like a V stitch and that's how your rows are going to start just so that your count comes out even at the end. Okay. So now we are not going to chain one after this. We're going to skip two. We're going to yarn over twice. We're going to go into this third stitch here, pull up a loop yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And here is where we are going to 
chain one. Yarn over twice, go back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's your first V-stitch. Now we'll do it again. Skip two. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over twice, go into the third one, and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through two. We're going to yarn over, pull through two. We're going to yarn over, pull through two more. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to go ahead and finish the V. So you can see why they call it a V-stitch, first of all. And you can see why I'm trying it, why I'm showing you with a treble. It's just so much more pronounced with a treble. that I like to use this just to show you how well it looks. Now, normally it's done with a double crochet. You can do it with a double crochet. Heck, you can do it with any stitch you want. But I just wanted to show you on a treble so you could see it. It's really a pretty stitch. So we're gonna do it again. Let's yarn over twice, skip two, go into the third one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, chain one, Yarn over twice, go right back into that same stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And here we are. How pretty is that? I love it. Look at that. That's beautiful. And you'll notice the base row that I add. I really like that too. It gives it a nice solid look. So one more time. Skip two, yarn over two. It's almost like this is the two for two pattern, right? <laughs> go into that stitch here. Come on, don't fight me. There we go. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Chain one. Right back in to that same stitch. Pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. Oh my goodness, I might as well keep going. I'm so close to the end. Skip two. Yarn over twice, go into the third one, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, go through two, go through two, chain one, go right back in, here we go. All right, sorry, I gotta pull some of that yarn. Okay, now you'll see we have one, two, three, four, left. We have four left. <laughs> and um, okay, so you can see we have four left. And if you look down here, we started with four. So we had the original chain, then we skipped. No, we didn't. We had the original chain. Yeah. And we went into the second, then we skipped. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the two. We're going to do a fake V stitch. So that's when we're just going to do a treble into this. We're not going to chain one and we're just going to do a treble into the last one. Now you can see that your ends look the same. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to chain two and turn your work and you're ready to go ahead and do the next one. Again, this looks a little tight, but it will even out as you go along. So let's do it again. You ready? So we're going to one, two, whoops, <laughs> one, two, right back into. Now, what we're going to be doing is working the V's into the V space of the others. So we're going to do this treble here. Okay. That looks like a V, right? We're skipping two. And we're going to go into the space of the V. Now we're not going into the top of a stitch. We're going into the space between the stitch. Sorry, my yarn got in the way. So let me show you that again. Okay, so you have the original chain, which counts as your first treble. Then you're going to do a treble in the next stitch. You're going to skip two 
and you're going to do a treble in the V spot, which is the chain one of the one below it. You're going to go in the V space. You're not going to go into an actual stitch. Then you're going to chain one, go right back into that space. And you're going to see how your V's are going to start stacking one on top of the other. Okay, so let's keep going. We're going to do another one. Remember, we don't chain between the V's. The only chain we have is actually in the V. So we're going to wrap over twice, go in, do our treble, chain one, twice, do the treble, And here we go. How pretty is that? If you did that with really thin, maybe a three weight, imagine how pretty that would be as a shawl or a poncho. So pretty. All right, we'll do one more. Wrap it around twice. We're going to go into the V. We're going to pull up loop, pull up loop, chain one. Do the other treble. All right. So pretty. Obviously, you're not going to stop after each one and admire your work, or maybe you are. <laughs> I just love how pretty it's coming out. I'm glad I used the treble to show you this. So here we go. We're going to do it again. I might as well finish out the row with you, right? Okay, chain one. Wrap around twice. Do your treble, wrap it around twice, go back into the V. Here we are back at the end after this V. And we're going to do what I call the fake V again, okay? <laughs> right in this here space, right? So we're going to go two. Now look what I'm doing, okay? I'm going into the space. Okay, and then we're going to actually go into the final stitch for the second part of my fake V. And we're going into that stitch so that your ends will look even. Okay, now, sorry, I got to get a good view onto where the heck I'm going here. So you got to make sure you actually have the last stitch. Yarn over twice. I hold it because sometimes the yarn has a mind of its own. And you got to get right in that very last stitch. Make sure you get all parts of it or you're just going to be stitching into the air. <laughs> all right, come on, stop fighting me. People are watching. <laughs> I could edit this part out. I might. Okay, right into here. Come on, ready? Big bucks, no whammies. Come on, get right in there. There we go. All right, right into it. And then do your treble chain two, turn your work. And you see how it's getting nice and straight on the end. This is going to start to come around as well. And there you go. There is your treble V-stitch. So pretty. I love it. I hope you learned something from this. And uh, I will be out with another video very soon. I just got to decide which one I'm going to teach you. So there you go. All right, there we have the V stitch made with the treble. Add that to the stitches you've learned and get ready for our next one. Remember, always be safe, be happy, and be creative. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.